Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm here with another Eid makeup tutorial and for today's video I have created this pink half cut crease eye look and this is a glam eye look. A couple of days ago I uploaded another Eid makeup tutorial. I will link that video at the end of this video so please go ahead and check that out. And for this video I have chosen the color pink because I think pink is such a color that anybody can pull off. Before starting if you are new here then hi I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe for that go to your YouTube app, paste that subscribe button also paste that bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever i upload so yeah let's get started first i'm taking this maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in the shade black brown and i'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling them up using smaller strokes i already shared with you my brow routine a couple of days ago i will link this video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out Now I'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand Sable and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows first and uh, then I will also apply the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows. Whenever I'm doing a party makeup, I like to do this step. It makes a huge difference uh, on my look and it makes my brows look well shaped and defined. I'm just blending it out using a damp beauty sponge. This one is from L'Oreal. To set the concealer, I'm taking this Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 and I'm just setting the concealer before it starts to crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Bori which is a hot pink color from my Juvia's Masquerade palette and I'm just applying it on my crease. For that I'm using an e.l.f. blending brush. I'm taking Burkina which is a warm brown color and I'm just softening up the pink a bit because I want a soft pink effect on my crease. And I'm taking Fulani from the same palette it is a dark brown color and I'm just applying it on my outer V area. For that I'm using another small brush from e.l.f. And I'm cutting my crease, for that I'm using a lip brush from Puna Store. And with the same concealer I'm first just marking the area where I am going to place my cut crease. Now I'm taking this simple micellar water and with a q-tip I'm going to clean my eyelid. It will ensure that my cut crease is clean and sharp. I'm applying the concealer again on my eyelids. And I'm just diffusing the borders of the concealer so that blending becomes easier later on. And I'm again setting the concealer with the same loose powder. And I'm taking Bori again and I'm just applying it next to the brown eyeshadow. Actually, I have left a bit gap because I'm going to apply a different color over there. And I'm taking Zobo which is a matte purple color and I'm applying it between body and the uh, brown shade just to create a gradient effect from a dark shade to a lighter shade. I'm just spreading my brush with my makeup setting spray and I'm taking Giza which is a shimmery ivory color and with this flat brush from Puna Store I'm just applying it on my eyelids actually on the inner third area of my eyelids. Now 
I'm just blending out the edges. And I'm taking Burkina again from the same palette. And with this small brush, I'm just applying it on the borders of my cut crease so that my cut crease looks even prominent. I'm taking a glitter eyeliner and I'm just applying it on the border. I purchased these glitter eyeliners from Amazon.in. I will mention the link in the description bar below, so please go ahead and check that out. And I'm taking Burkina again from the same palette and I'm just diffusing the borders. And I felt like this eye makeup needs a little bit of black so I'm applying a black eyeshadow from my Maybelline The Nudes palette. Before continuing with my eye makeup, I'm going to finish my base then I will return to my eye makeup again. For that first I'm taking this NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm obsessed with this primer. And I'm just priming my face. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. And I'm going to color correct a bit for that I'm using this LA Girl orange color corrector and I'm just applying it around my mouth because I have pigmentation over there and underneath my eyes and I'm just blending it out using my finger for my foundation I'm going with this LA Girl Pro Illuminati uh, foundation in the shade natural and i'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge all the products and their shades everything will be mentioned in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out for highlighting and concealing i'm using the same concealer and i'm applying it underneath my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose cupid bow chin on the sides of my mouth and just under where i'm going to place my contour next Now again I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge. As I always say blending out your highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all. So please take your time and blend out highlighting concealer. Now I'm just setting my smile lines and my under eyes using the same fit me loose powder. To set my entire face and neck, I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte Placed Powder in the shade Transparent and with this large powder brush from Equate Beauty, I'm just setting my entire face and neck. Now I'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes. If I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows, it will help to catch that fallout and I can dust it off later without spoiling my base. Now I'm just tightlining my eyes with my Maybelline Colossal Kajal. Taking a uh, burkina, I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line. Now I have taken Bori, which is uh, the hot pink color, and I'm just applying it on the outer one third area of my lower lash line. Now I'm applying Giza on the inner one third area of my lower lash line. I'm going to create a wing for that I'm using my wet and wild mega liner in black and I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara this is my essence lash princess mascara for my falsies I'm going with this kiss fox mink lashes in the style gala and i'm obsessed with these lashes to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners i'm using this colourpop super shock eyeshadow sorry highlighter in the shade wisp and here is the final eye look Please let me know your thoughts about this eye look in the comment section down below. I'm going to finish my face. For that first I'm taking this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Suntan. And with this contour brush from Wet n Wild, I'm just contouring the parameters of my face. 
and I'm going to upload a video about contouring and highlighting pretty soon. Please stay tuned for that. For my blush, I'm taking this NYX HD blush in the shade Electra and I'm just applying it on my cheeks and for that I'm using the blush brush from Wet n Wild. For my highlighter, I'm using the same color pop highlighter and with my finger, I'm just applying it on the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, on the sides of my forehead. And this highlighter is gorgeous. If you're using this highlighter, try to use your finger because what I have discovered is these highlighters work best when you use your finger. I'm just setting my entire makeup using my Maybelline makeup setting spray. For my lipstick, I'm going with this Maybelline ink pad lipstick in the shade Artist and this is a gorgeous pink color and this lip color is complementing that high look. And that's pretty much it. So this is the final look with all those jewelries and sari. Again, I'm giving you two hair options just in case you know so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out and please share this video with your friends and family it will mean a lot to me so yeah see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care